Hallelujah. So good to see you, Evangelist Miller, and your family. Yes, man. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We're going to come from Joshua. If you have your Bible, you, you can find that, and then you can stand. Joshua. We're going to come from chapter 1. Joshua chapter 1, read a very small part of that scripture there. We thank God for the anointing. We, we, you, you, you don't let a gift like Stephanie come in the house and right. don't let God be exalted Amen. through what he has given her. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for her. Hallelujah. Joshua, yeah, chapter 1. Glory, 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 glory. Yes. Hallelujah. Those that can stand, can stand. We, we, we want to start out in 2020 reading our Bibles and standing on the Word of God. Hallelujah. I know we have our phones and our iPods and all of that's good, as long as we got the Word on it. And we thank God for Corey being with us today. Praise God for him as well. Hallelujah. Joshua chapter 1. Glory be to God. And it reads, Glory be to God. Now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass, that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now, therefore, arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all this people, unto the land which I do give to thee, even unto the children of Israel. And verse 3 said, Every place that thy soul of thy feet shall tread upon, that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses. In verse 4, From the wilderness to this Lebanon, even unto the great river of Ephrites, all the land of the Hittites, and unto the great sea, towards the going down of the sun, shall be your coast. In verse 5, our, our, our last scripture there, therefore, not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. Repeat after me, so I will be with thee. I will be with thee. One more time. So I will be with thee. So I will be with thee. I will not fail thee nor forsake thee. You may be seated. Amen. We welcome you today and we give God glory and honor for all those that are present and all those that are watching us live on Facebook and all of those that support us on Facebook. We look for AJ Tillier. We speak healing upon your back right now. We thank God that spiritual healing manifests itself into physical healing. And spiritual healing takes place before physical healing. So I speak today that you will see yourself out of pain. That you will see yourself being able to do the things you cannot do. That you will be able to envision those things and, and then believe God for those things and stand on the word God for those things. Yes. And, and that your faith will not fail you and that yes. you will know that God promises concerning your healing yes. is yes and amen. Yes. So we speak healing upon your back. Yes. We speak healing upon your family. Yes. We speak promotion on your job. Yes. And we say no man of sickness or disease shall be able to capture you or hinder you in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 
And God, we give you glory today that our scripture title would be that I will be with thee. And we're coming from Joshua, I will be with thee. I, I, I mean, in the beginning of the year, you realize that you, you're motivated and you're, you're innovated and you realize that you have crossed over into a new year. And, and the question is that as you have crossed over, there's some things you should leave behind. Right. And, and, and Paul tells us that he pressed toward the mark of the high calling yes. of his Lord Jesus Christ. And he forget those things that uh, are set behind him, that that those things that kind of evilly because you to 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 the, the weight so easily beset you. Yes, yes. Yeah. You have to take into account as you cross over into a new year what things you said last year that you was going to do that you didn't do. What things you said that even in 2020 that as we cross over and we're looking at Joshua, you know, getting ready to cross over to the promised land, cross over into Canaan. We're looking at what things that they're going to have to face. And, 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 and you must look, take an assessment of your life. Yeah. You must take an assessment. What baggage am I carrying that continue to weigh me down? And as I begin to believe God for the promises of God, which is yes and amen, what things that seem to captivate me? What song do I sing that seems like you have a stretch in it that I keep repeating the same thing, but I never make it to the end? What, what, what things have tackled me and hindered me and hurt me and I'm still carried into a new year? Or is it just another year? Wow. See, I'm so glad that we are in the beginning because what you find out in Joshua that the, the spies, they sent out 10 spies, uh -huh. 12 I mean from the tribe. 12 spies in two mm -hmm. yes. use their mouth to declare the will of the Lord. Amen. There was 10 that opened up their mouth and said, it's hard out there. It's not easy. Every time I say I'm going to move forward, it looks like I'm going backwards. Every time I make a dollar, it looks like I'm losing $10. And and every time I get in a relationship, nobody appreciate me. Every time I try to move forward, somebody out there hindering me. And, and, and every time I see like I trust God, something bad happening. And, 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 and the team just kept repeating. We look like grasshoppers against giants. They came up with a reason for them not to fulfill the call of God on their life. But there was two that said that we can take the land, that we can cross over, that we are more than conquerors. There was two that used their mouth to add life. What are you saying with your mouth? What are you speaking that's causing you to either stay back or to go forward? Because I kept wondering why the world and Joshua, he kept saying the same thing over and over and over and over. It's like we're not deaf, we can hear. But he kept saying to, to them the same thing in verse 6. He said, be strong yes. and be of good courage. For unto this people shall not divide for an inheritance the land which I swore unto thy father to give the generation. Right. And I kept wondering why in the world you said keep being strong. Because there are some things you're going to face this year. If you don't remember this word today, you might as well go back to 2019. Because you will not possess the things that God is speaking to you about if you don't remember 
Be strong. Yes. Be of good courage. Yes. There are some things that you're going to encounter. Say, Pastor, this is not an encouraging word. Yes, it is. If you grab hold to it. All right now. Because you will possess what God has for you if you hold on to it. Amen. Things being hard don't stop God. Because there's nothing impossible for God. All right. So as they begin to, to listen to other people saying, well, we can't make it. And then you got two that saying we can make it. You're outnumbered. There's more people telling you you can't make it than you can make it. So well, who are you going to believe? Right. Amen. I'm going to believe the report of the Lord. Amen. And then in the normal circumstances, that from 80 to 100 feet where they're supposed to cross, it was normal flow of water. Mm -hmm. But when they got ready to cross, it was an overflow. The river flooded. Mm -hmm. It was like a mile long. Not 100 feet to 80 feet, but a mile long. Water everywhere. See, when God tells you to do something, what you got to factor in, how hard it's going to be. Woo. You, you got to factor in that there's going to be some stuff that try to easily beset thee. There's going to be some weight that come on, going to try to crush you, try to hinder you. Yes. Right now. Oh so now they, they, they are... They're faced with water that they that they never seen like this, and 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 and, and the scripture tells us in Deuteronomy um, Joshua chapter two that he told them that you never been this way before. I'm taking you to a place where you've never been, and, and it's going to be difficult. But but and, and then you're under new leadership, so the only thing you're left to do is trust God. Yes. Trust his word. He said there are going to be night times that, that, that you won't be able to see, but look at the fire. Ooh. There's going to be daytime where water is going to see me, seem to be coming on over your every side, but look at the cloud. Yeah. Oh. Wow. There are going to be days where it seems like it's easier to give up than to push forward. My God. Come on, Pastor. But then he. he he began to tell him that I'm gonna put an ark before you. And in and, and, and the ark, you, you, you got to follow it. You, you, you know, like the song said, I have decided yeah. to follow Jesus. Yeah. When you make up your mind to follow Jesus, everything won't be easy. There's gonna be some setback. There, 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 there's going to be some hurt. There's going to be some wound. There's going to be some hospital visit. There's going to be some visit that seems like you're going to have to go to the Lord. But I have decided, Christian. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. See, you got to keep deciding. You just can't decide oh, Sunday. Right? You got to decide on Monday. You got to decide on Tuesday. Woo! You got to keep on, keep on, keep on deciding to yeah. follow Jesus. Yeah. And as the ark was before them, the ark represent following Jesus. It, 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 it represent that I, I, I don't know where I'm going, but I, 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 I hear your voice saying, saying that you got more for me. Yes. And, and he said that as, as they step at the edge of the river, it, 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 it said the water just shut off. It just cut off on one side. Praise God. See, there's some things that you won't be able to possess in the natural, if you don't connect with God in the spirit. Amen. If you walk by sight and not by faith, you won't possess what God has for you, and you won't become an overcomer, and you will not cross over. Amen. Right now. So well, how, how do I know God is leading me? I, I, I mean, you, you, you got to read his word. Amen. You got to read his word over and over because yeah, he speaks right. Yes. Through his word. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he speaks through worship. See, worship, uh, 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 one of 
the definition, it say like a, a doll, you, you know, coming into the presence of, of his master. You, you know how Cam, and if you come home and your dog is loose, I mean, your dog see you as, as everything that he needs. He, he gets excited. He start licking his tongue. He start jumping up because see, that's worship. But you see your master as being everything that you need. That is worship. Yes, Lord. That's worship. That's true. Lord. If a dog can have the right perspective about man, why can't man have the right perspective about God? See him as everything I need. Sometimes you have to calm the dogs down because they get so excited when they see you. How excited do you do? How do you get when you come in the presence of God? Worship. When, when the dog begins to lick his tongue, and, and you see, it, it, it's like words coming out of him. He gets so excited. He, what he's releasing to his master is that you are my everything. If I'm hungry now, you're food. Yes. If I'm thirsty, you're water. Yes. Whatever I need, I know you're going to yes. take care of me. Yes. 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 Worship, worship, worship. Yes. Worship. Yes. How do you know God Jesus. is leading and guiding you? He, he speaks to you through his word. He speaks to you through worship. He speaks to you through joy. Amen. Joy, not, not happiness, because happiness go in and out. It, you know, it, it's kind of like this good, but this is bad. But joy Ooh. speaks to, I know. Yes. It's what I know. Yes. See, if you have an accident and you find out you are right, you 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 know, and you, you're not that happy about having an accident, so you're not that happy. But 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 joy comes in and say you you got insurance. Yes. Hallelujah. You're covered. You're covered. See go see it, see joy deals with what you know. Mm -hmm. Yes. If you know God is with you. See if you know God it, 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 it is with you that 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 it, 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 the song said it, it, it's a cross before me and the world is behind me and I won't turn back. I won't turn back. Yes. See, see, when your mind is made up and, and you stay in the word and you worship in the word and, and, and you won't let nothing take your joy. That's right. That's right. Yes. Take your joy. The Bible said, he, he, he said that the kingdom of God is peace, mm -hmm. joy, yes. and righteousness. Yes. That's how God deals with us. Yes. In peace, Joy and righteousness, and the righteousness come from Him. Amen. God's not even concerned about all the things you do do wrong because He already died for your wrong. Amen. That's free. So you can get over that. Amen. That's free. You can quit functioning over that. Amen. God's trying to speak to you as young people that you're kings and, and that you're queens and that you should value yourself and that your mind is great and great is he that is in you than he that's in the world that you're an overcomer that you're born with greatness and he wants you to be yourself amen don't put don't 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 hang around people that keep putting you down don't hang around people that speak negative of you. Yeah. Be around somebody that see what God has said about you. Amen. Amen. When I was a young man, every time I went to church, almost somebody said, hey, hey, you know, I was young, I was like y'all when you were young. You hear things and don't hear. <laughs> you, 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 you know, because you think the word ain't for me because I'm young. You know, so people kept speaking what God was speaking in my destiny, but because I was young, they said, you're going to be a preacher. I said, all right. I'm going to be that. In my mind, man, I, I got to be a preacher. You got to worry about me being a preacher. I don't want to be a preacher. And I go to another church. They say the same thing. Come on, Pastor. Come on, Pastor. See, God is speaking 
through his prophet and his prophetess, but you may not have an ear to hear. You could get prepared to be the next great Billy Graham or T.D. Jakes or whoever, but, but, but because you were wasting time and losing time and a lack of identity that nothing can fall on good ground. You know what you've been through. Well, Pastor, you don't know who touched me in an inappropriate place. You don't know who raped me and, and molested me. You, you, you don't know the hurt that's inside of me. That hurt it is designed to be released into somebody else that is hurting more than you. Amen. Amen. Speak, Lord. You'll never get over hurt if you focus on yourself. That's right. The only way that you can be delivered is that you find somebody else that's hurting just as much or more than you. Amen. Amen. When Jesus was hurt, he, he, he talked about forgiveness. What do you talk about? Getting even? Getting by? What do you talk about? Let me, let me, let me give him a piece of my mind. Let, you want to give your mind or God's mind? Your mind got you locked up last time. You want to give your mind or, 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 or God's mind? And see, God is trying to take this group of people. You have a lot of them that don't believe. And you got a very few that believe. And he's trying to take them into the promises. First they got to enter, then they got to fight. And then what God has already promised their parents, then it's going to be released. Praise God. God has some promises for you that you don't even know about. It's because your parents was praying for you and God came in agreement with your parents and said yes and amen to those promises. A lot of things that have been released into your life right now, it ain't because you prayed for it. It's because your parents was praying for you when you didn't know you. And he said, just like he was with Moses, he's going to be with you. And, 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 and when they begin to the, the, the cross over, they had to fight. This year gonna be a, year, a lot of fighting, <coughs> but also a lot of victories. Right. Oh, right. It's gonna be a lot of fighting, but a lot of victory. You gonna see a lot of miracles because your faith gonna grow from faith to faith and glory to glory. Hallelujah. And and and, and 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 he said that I'm going to be with you. I'm like Jesus. What does it mean that? When you say I'm gonna be with you, he said, "You remember that time that you was on that um, lift and you was getting ready to load the plane and you weren't doing right and you couldn't take your next breath." That's what I'm talking about. Jesus, glory to God. When you called out to me, that's what I'm talking about. Yes. I'm gonna be with you. Amen. But what about that time when my car turned over? Flip and all the top, and you landed me up on the right side, and all floor four times. Who was flat? That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to be with you. Jesus, what about those times where I had accident head on and and, and, and the car was total, and, but but I got out and I was able to walk out, and, and I said to myself, How can a man live from a crash like that? That's what I'm talking about. Andre Crouch, thank you. Yeah. Sing a song that heaven wasn't promised. Yes, when I look back over my life, even if I could make it to heaven, I, I, I wouldn't change anything. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I was yeah. set out on a course to kill and steal and destroy myself, but God wouldn't allow it. Oh, Woo. Oh. Oh. Thank God. 
Even when my mind was made up to do right, that our protection still was around me. He taught me how to get off myself and start investing into others. And he started raising up an attitude, a mindset of raising up nations that was inside of me. If I can get your mind off of you. There are so many people delivered. It's locked up inside of you. If only you can get out of your own way. If only you can quit making everything about you. You'll discover how many other people need you and desire. But what if I, 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 I don't make it to, to heaven? I, I, I learn how to give. And I thought giving was helping other people, but I found out in the word of God that it's more better to give than to receive. And I found myself being whole as I begin to make other people whole. Yeah. I'll be with you. Yeah. I, 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 I'll be with you that, that even when you need shelter, and, and, and you find no rest in place like Jesus. He said, I'll never forsake you. And you think about all those times where the enemy had a plot set up. He, he already had the grave dug. He already had picked out a stone with your name on it. And he had the beginning date and, and the dash. And he was ready to sign off. And Jesus said, not so. He said, I'll be with you when you're a fool. When you ain't thinking about right. You don't even want to do right. You don't want to acknowledge me. He said, I'll still be there with you. I'll never forsake you. I'll never for, for, forsake you. I, I I know you've been forsaken before. I, I, I know that there's people that say they're going to be with you and they want with you. Right, right. Yeah, I'm in the church. Yes. And we know they're in the world. Yes, go ahead. He said, but I'll never leave. Thank you. Okay. I'll never forsake. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Glory to God. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, 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 you young, and, 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 but you get ready to face a lot of stuff. Yeah. Mama ain't going to be able to help you. Dad ain't going to be able to help you. I'm the only one going to be able to help you. Speak, Where I'm taking you, you can't go with Mama and Dad. Because Mama and Dad didn't give you your purpose. Mama and Dad didn't create you. Amen. I created you for my own Amen. good. Amen. He said, when mom and dad forsake you, you can still count on this. Mom and dad won't be here always. So you need to develop a relationship with me. That's right. And even as they, they got in the middle of the river, he told them to get 12 stones that represent the 12 tribes. And I'm like, why is that so important to get 12 stones to carry over? And, 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 and build a pillar of worship. He said that I want your children to know All right. what I did for you. I, I want your kids to know that they wouldn't have made it and you wouldn't have made it if it weren't for me. So when they ask you how you got where you are, you can tell them there's a God in heaven Amen. that now lives Amen. inside of me. Amen. They'll know. They'll know about me. I, I, I need for you to teach them that you didn't get here on your own. I want you to teach them that if it was up to you, you would have gave up a long time ago. But it was that God that was with me. Lord, thank you. Lord. Jesus. See, so when young people begin to be cutters. 
I remember the first time a couple years ago when they they said that he a cutter and she's a cutter. I didn't want to let nobody know that I didn't know what that meant. You know, I, I was really taken away when they said, oh yeah, she on depression medicine because we're talking about the middle school kids and high school kids. I, I said, he couldn't be going through that much. To, 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 now they got to take medicine to be stable and, and to move forward. I was shocked then. I'm saying, young people usually fool you. And you act like everything all right. You telling me it ain't so? They need Jesus too. Then they mentioned Carter's. Carter is saying that I'm going through so much pain, and, and, and the only way I can release the pain is I give pain to myself. So they begin to cut. It's not a tattoo, and you look out their hands and all mocked up, all mocked up. They're cutters. They're designed to fool you and let you know that I'm cool and everything is all right. I wear my hoodie. Don't you see me? I can say it. Don't you see me? I got writing on my shirt. Can't you see me? Don't you see my walk? And all the time, they're dying inside. And he said, I, I need for you to teach them that the same God that brought you through difficult times, the same God that you didn't even think you were going to be able to enter into what I promised you because because all, all the turmoils and the storm and, and the water kept raising I, as you enter. Yeah, as you enter, you still have to fight those enemies. But I brought you through that too. And now I want you to start dividing the land. There's some things that God has for your kids' kids. That's right. But they won't right. get it if you don't cross over. Come on now. You wonder why generations are suffering? You wonder why they, there's no wealth in, in, in a lot of the household? Because there's some people are getting in the middle of the river. Oh, Jesus. Glory to God. And they're not crossing over. They start the year, but they don't finish the year. He said, I told you, I, I, I told you, that's why I said over and over, be strong, verse 6, and be of good courage. I, I told you over and over, then I went and told you again in verse 7. He said, only be thou strong. And then he said, very, very, very courageous. Because he knew that your, the wealth of your generation is inside of you. As a parent, as a parent, you want what's best for your kids. If, if you being evil want what's best for your kid, what do you think about God? And what he want for you? But we can't stop because things are hard. We can't stop because you hurt my feelings. You said something mean to me. Well, if he says something mean to you, you say something nice to him. Amen. Amen. We can't keep getting stopped. God has greatness inside of us. As a young person in high school, you, 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 you should be achieving in your academics. Amen. You should have perfect attendance. Amen. And you also should have no discipline with us. Amen. The word of God will require you to do that. Yes. If you really get in the word of God, that's the type of lifestyle you should have. If you just come to church and you act like church ain't for you, you're going to be just like the world. Amen. You won't be separated. You, you, won't, you won't be a leader among leaders. You'll be one of the numbers. But if you surrender your life to God yes. and tell him to lead and guide you, there should be a separation. Yes. And even in high school, you should be finding young boys that's in middle and elementary that look up to you and you should begin to train them. 
As a young person, you should never be so savage with your mouth until people consider you rude or disrespectful. You should always honor a father. That means honor a dog. You should always be billing your brother. Those about your age, about the same grade, you should be always billing your brother. See, now I'm getting ready to do the cross now. You're honoring your father and your mother and those that are in authority, but you're building your brother. But you're raising up the little ones, your sons and your daughters. You're raising them up. That's your responsibility now. Well, Pastor, you know, I, I ain't really that mature. Why do you think I'm preaching this word then? I'm telling you how to cross over. I'm telling you how not to get stuck in the quota status. I'm telling you that God created you with greatness in mind. That he gave you a gift and ability and you not what you went through. Amen. Amen. And this, this, this guy began to talk to the little kids. Yes. He began to talk to the adults. And he began to talk to the leaders and he began to ask them questions and 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 and, and he began to in verse eight he began to let them know that this book of the law shall not depart out of their mouth. That didn't mean just reading the word of God. That means you speaking the word. Yes. You know when I didn't know how to pray, I was, I was one of the best. Um, uh, prayer warriors when I didn't know how to pray. I said, Pastor, that don't really make sense. Well, I didn't know how to pray. I wasn't taught the 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 the, the, the formal way of, of, of praying. So I, I didn't know how when people start saying, you know, different strategy as far as how to pray. I didn't know any of those things. But but I always kept noticing that my former pastor when the atmosphere uh, uh, um wasn't right this was when I was in the Methodist system. He always got me up to pray. And I never could understand why in the world he keep calling me to pray when I don't know how to pray. And one day I read this word that said this. It, it said in verse 8 in Joshua that this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. You know what? I was praying the book. I kept praying the book. Yes. I just kept praying the book. Mm -hmm. That's all I kept saying was the word. Mm -hmm. I just kept saying the word. And the word kept manifesting the will of God, not only concerning my life, but everybody connect to me and everything God wanted to do. When I didn't know how to pray, I kept the book in my mouth. What is in your mouth? What is in your mouth? What are you saying? Well, Pastor, when you say meditate, what, what, what does you mean by meditate? What, what I'm saying that meditate is like a cow when a cow eats. He eats it, he digests it, and he'll bring it up again and taste it again. He digests it, then he'll bring it up and eat it again. That's what the meditation means. That, that the word begins to just, I, I, I read the word and speak to me. I read it again and speak back to me. And you know, it's just a transaction. I'm reading and after a while, I realize that it's God that's speaking to me about the Amen. word. Amen. That's what meditation is. You know how sometimes kids can ask for something so long until, you you, you, you know, I want to wrap it up. I, 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 I want a rabbit. I want a rabbit. And, and, and in your mind, you ain't planning on get by no rabbit, but in, in, in your sleep, you're thinking about a rabbit, 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 rabbit. Then after a while, you start considering getting a rabbit because they don't ask you about 10,000 times about a rabbit. That's meditation. That they have said it so much until now it's speaking to you. When they're not even speaking anymore, in your sleep is speaking. When they're not around, you're speaking. Yes. That's meditation. Meditation.
expectation is it, when the word uh -huh. now begins to manifest itself. That's yes. right. It, it becomes a part of, 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 of who you are. Yes, to the root. Yes. It becomes a part of who you are. Yes. We as a family, we need to get back to praying together. We need to get by speaking life over our kids. Yes. We need to tell our kids the things that so easily beset us. Mm -hmm. Because it's going to come after them too. Right. And they're they going to understand what's going on. The same thing that was going on with your mama and your daddy. Now it's trying to take a part of you. Go ahead. So we have to be strategic. That's right. And let them know that yeah, I dealt with this, but 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 but, but I'm overcome. That's right. If you was loose, and then you find out your daughter want to get loose, you need to tell me I want to lose baby, but 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 God brought me through. That's right. He made me celibate. That's right. He made me honorable. He he, he, he made me a bride that, that that he's coming back for. Only he can. Amen. Don't try to hide and you see they're about to suffer. Ooh, Jesus. They're about to be taken under. Open it up. Right. And you still hide. Let them know, yeah, I slipped, but I got up. That's right. Wow. That's right. Oh, yeah, yeah I, I'm not like that commercial. I fell and couldn't, can't get up. I, no, I can get back up. I ain't right. like hunting dumping. I was sitting on the wall and had a great fall. And all the key horse and all the key man couldn't put it back together. God can restore you. God can redeem you. God can put you back together. Amen. 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 I'm not trying to finish this today, but I, I, I just want to say to you that. God is trying to take you somewhere this year that the enemy knows about it and he's been fighting you all your life uh -huh. so that you don't make it. Thank you, Lord. Help, Jesus. So that you don't make it. I, I, I'm in my clothes and I remember one time when Cam, I went to acting right and I know you can now go get ready to help. I want to act right as a husband, and my wife kept trying to deal with me. And the Holy Spirit said, no, you, you in my way. I'm the Holy Spirit, not you. You get out of the way, and I can deal with him. I know his heart. He'll surrender to me. And once he surrendered to me, I'll teach him how to also surrender to you. And see, there's a, a, a surrendering God is asking for all of us to trust him and, and to believe him. But pastor, I, 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 I've been church hurt. I, I've been pastor hurt. I've I, 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 I just been hurt, hurt, hurt. God want to restore all that hurt. God wants you to live in a state of rejection. That's right. To Time people correct you, you think they're rejecting you. The Bible tells you there's safety in a multitude of counsel. Yes. You got to submit to somebody. Yes. Joshua did. Mm -hmm. even, even Jesus didn't come on the scene and, and, and without a forerunner. All right. As known as Jesus was. I'm talking about Jesus was Jesus. But he said, I, I, I need a man to introduce me in the earth. Amen. Nick, can believe it or not, there's a lot of people that stop ministry. They got titles, they got names, but they ain't submitted to nobody. They don't need nobody to introduce them. They are bigger than Jesus. I don't need nobody. You, you can't correct me. You, you. Mercy. All right, you the next Jesus did you didn't hate Jesus. I ain't said nothing to nobody. That's why you don't have no power. See? Power comes from serving. That's right. That's why Joshua was able to do what he did because he had served so faithfully. That's right. 
And then it was time for leadership. God, first you got to learn how to serve. Then God brings you up and elevates you to leadership. You can tell people they haven't served. They got the nasty attitude you ever find. I ain't talking about just for Christian. I'm talking about in the world. They come up in the church, they got the nasty attitude you ever find. Because they never serve. When you serve, it teach you how to be humble. It, 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 it teach you how, how to submit. And, and, and well, they, they didn't tell me thank you. I brought water and I carried babies and I cleaned toilet and I cut yard and, 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 and I drove people around using my own money, my own gas. I sold into their life and they never told me thank you. Now you get ready. You get ready for leadership. But if you haven't served and you haven't dealt with people not approving you, confirming you, being pleased with you, you ain't ready for leadership. You just a person that'll get up there and represent God and embarrass him at the same time. That's all that happened. Serving yes. proves leadership. I still don't take out the trash. Even though we got young men around there, they'll be sitting by looking at me. I, I, I still are out work. Because I know what true leadership is. True leadership comes from serving. Amen. We in the church in my home. I don't pay nobody to cut my yard or clean my pool. I don't pay nobody to do my carpet. If we was in the church, we had about 10 people doing a lot of the stuff I'm doing. Serving. And I got to take a college course, two of them. Got a job, too. But God said, rise. He said, get up. Well, I'm standing as tall as I, I, I can get, Pastor. I mean, I'm already stuff. Seems like it's already over my head. But there's a higher level. He said, arise. Stand on the power of Jesus. All right. Stand up on Jesus. When you don't done all you can do, stand on Jesus. That's what Joshua learned to do. Stand in the power of Jesus. There's no reason that you should be going through the same thing you've been through five years ago and still not made it over. Wow. Yeah. Do you know how many people you're holding by? If Joshua wouldn't have made up his mind to transition, into a leader. And we won't get into what is required to be a leader today. But learn how to serve. Yeah. The decoration you see right here, we don't pay people to do that. Learn how to serve. When you get here at 11, I probably don't got up at 2 or 3. Mm, but you can't tell because they ain't operating my own strength. Amen. All right. Say, right. so, Pat, Pat, you're not perfect. You make a lot of mistakes. If you had to do what I do, you will too. If you try to accommodate everybody, consider everything everybody is going through while well, they're not considering you, you'll make some mistakes too. If you're being judged by every person that comes in, you missed the mark too. But serving allow you to be humble and miss the mark and still know that God still have great and mighty plans for you. Part two is coming next week. Crossing over. Possessing what God has for you in 2020. Give the Lord some praise. Hallelujah.